Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial is on how to change your door lock on your washing machine, sometimes known as a door interlock. This video can be used on Ariston, Hotpoint, Interset, Bompan, Clatronic, Creda, Fager, and General Electric. It also can be used to assist you with other makes of machine. For safety reasons, please make sure the machine is unplugged from the electricity supply and all work should be done by a qualified engineer. The first thing we need to do is remove the retaining wire which holds the door seal to the front panel. There are three different types usually used in the industry. And the first is a spring type which we're doing here. You can see the spring that holds the wire together. The next is a nylon hasp type which will actually lock into place and the third type is like an overgrown jubilee clip uh, where you'll have a screw or a bolt which you have to undo to loosen it to remove it. Next thing we need to do is peel back the door seal out of its groove. Just slowly go around peeling it back. This will give us access to the rear of the door interlock. Remember, if you visit us at our website, we have a video library under Video Tutorials where we have hundreds of appliance videos all free of charge. So you're more than welcome to get assistance with any other spares that you need help with. We'll undo the screws now that hold the door interlock in place. It's a good idea to put your hand on the inside of the panel to hold the door interlock to stop it dropping down into the base of the machine. Some door interlocks actually fit flush to the panel and other door interlocks hook into the panel like this one. You can see it just hooking through there. We now need to unplug the wiring from the door interlock. In some cases the wires are held on with a plug connector and in other cases they're held on with individual spade connectors. It's a good idea to take a photograph or draw a wiring diagram uh, before removing them so you know where they come from. Right now we'll fit the new door lock to your washing machine. In most cases the new part that comes out will be the original exactly the same as the old one but sometimes the new door lock may vary from the old one you took off. Please check inside for any additional information within the packaging as sometimes the manufacturers have made modifications to the terminal layout or to a wiring alteration on the actual harness. Right, what we're going to do now is plug the wiring harness into the door lock. Most of the plugs can only fit one way. If you have a terminal uh, connections on the door lock you will need to consult your wiring diagram or your photograph to make sure you get the wires on correctly and also if there's any additional notes with the door lock. This door lock hooks into place. You can actually see the lip on the edge of a door lock here which hooks into the panel. Some are flush fit and others have a plastic uh, piece which will go onto the door lock through the panel. Just putting the screws back in here. Remember, if you need any additional parts for your appliance, put your model number into our search bar and it will give you a full list of appliance parts available for your machine. And if you can't find the part, please do not hesitate to contact us. Now we're just squaring up the door seal before we try and clip it back into its groove. So just nice and slowly going round, easing the seal back into the groove. making sure that you keep the seal nice and square. These door seals are sometimes called gaskets or tub seals. Now a useful little trick to get the wire band back on is just put a little bit of fairy liquid around the band and that will help ease it into the rubber groove. Remember to put the spring part of this wire clip or wire band into the same location as when you took it apart as sometimes these door seals have a little bit of a groove where the spring sits in. You'll easily identify it. 
We hope you found this video useful. Um, remember to shop at a part for you, as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you at our site.